How's it going everyone? My name is Graham and I'm just vastly overdue for some kind of update video. I never intended to leave things hanging this long. I'm pushing an entire month at this point and I figure people are probably just wondering where I'm at. Is Shadows of Loathing coming back? The answer to that second one is yes, as soon as I possibly can. And the answer to the first question is going to be the rest of the video. <laughs> I'm going off the cuff here. I just have a lot to say, and I'm just gonna brain dump the things that feel most important. So at the start of the month, I was just, just tired. <laughs> I just wanted a break. I figured I'm gonna take something like a week off from recording and just enjoy myself a little bit. I, I've had burnout in the past and I just try to avoid it any way I can and just always make sure I'm like prioritizing that. And everyone's always been super understanding and I, I appreciate that immensely. So I purposely took a week off and then I planned a series of things with friends that took up two weekends in a row, but then it starts to spill over. It becomes more of like a Friday to Monday sort of thing, and then a Saturday to Monday. And like, so then all of a sudden I have less days than I thought I was going to, so some of my planning didn't quite work out. But it was all fun stuff. I was just like out having fun with friends. But it meant that my available schedule was really, really compressed. And unfortunately, Let's Plays had to get dropped down to a lower priority. I don't want to treat them that way. I would rather just have things planned ahead in a way where I could continue putting out content even when I take some time off, you know, get far enough ahead on things. So hopefully someday. <laughs> but as I, I, I don't know, two jam-packed weekends in a row with other things in the week, it was very busy and I didn't feel like I had any downtime. And so then when I was at home and available, Let's Plays require a certain level of like energy and enthusiasm that I don't think I was able to bring at all. And so I, I really didn't want to record those. It's a little bit easier to record a scripted thing, so you can just record five minutes at a time, voice only, edit that, make sure it sounds good, tweak it as needed. Let's Plays are a little bit more, you know, extemporaneous, just like this video here. It's a little bit harder to like plan that and capture the correct energy for that style of video. <laughs> So yeah, Let's Plays kind of dropped off, and I every week I've been saying, okay, but now I have time, now I'll get back to it. It's been one week, it's been two weeks, it's time. And on February 14th, Valentine's Day, that day has the potential to be marked on my calendar for like the rest of my life, 2023. I had a call with Jay Scenario, the guy who made Flicks and Chill, way back when. I, I plan to make like a video detailing this someday because the way our two paths have crossed a few times is, is kind of funny. And I think the way I, I want to lay that out will make for like an interesting little like two minute story time video. And I plan to upload that on the Two Left Thumbs Publishing because that story is leading to a project he and I are working together on. And it went from him tweeting like a single image to us making a game together in like less than 24 hours. We both worked each other up. We got so excited. We got on a call that day, like we're messaging, like, should we talk? Should we talk later this week? Are you free now? Let's just talk now. We talked for like three hours. I did not sleep that night. That's the first time since I was like 10 or whatever that I was so excited that I didn't sleep. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't tell you the last time that's happened. It was a wild thing as a 30-year-old adult to be laying awake at night like, oh, wow, like the potential felt enormous. So our new game, The Doorway Effect, has a, a Twitter page, has a Discord, has a, a Steam page, all placeholder. None of it shows you remotely anything of what the game actually is. Like... It's tangential, it's related. The description of the game is more or less accurate, but the game is being made quite in the moment. <laughs> and so, like, a lot of things are very placeholder-y. But I think that game has the potential to be a really big deal, and we're very excited about it. The Doorway Effect. I'm going to have links to that stuff down below. I have links to a bunch of stuff down below. That's the main thing. We're also getting ready to announce release dates on a few other Two Left Thumbs projects. And, and there was the Steam Next Fest. <laughs> Uh, that we had both Magenta Horizon and Peaky and Dreams participate in. And the two weeks leading up to the next fest are super important for marketing potential. So that's a three-week thing that was taking up a lot of time. Getting ready to announce these release dates. No, I apologize. You're not getting a release date for Fancy Pants. Not soon, at least. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, soon, but not like soon. 
there's a couple that might be soon. So that that's really exciting. So all these things just went from being like on my mind, potential, they're coming around the corner, marked on the calendar to like, it's here. And that it, it's not like it snuck up on me. It's like they took leaps forward that have raised them up, pushed them up in priority. And so that it kind of came out of nowhere, but it's like an exciting place to be in. And so, yeah, just a lot of stuff going on outside of this channel that has very fully pulled me away from it. And now, this weekend, I'm going to a friend's house who, uh, for his 31st birthday, and he, Dave, he's actually, funnily enough, <laughs> Dave's been on the channel a bunch. He and I played Flicks and Chill together, tying that back in. Uh, Jason Ario loved it enough that he put us in Flix and Chill too. So yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with him. He's made like a, a weekend long one shot D and D campaign, and so we're all gonna go play that for his birthday, and that's gonna be really fun. The weekend after that, I'm going skiing with some friends. I get to go skiing like once a year. That's very exciting. I'm I'm thrilled for that. And so I don't know. I don't know when in my schedule I'm going to start making Let's Plays again. It's I'm itching to. I want to get back into Shadows Over Loathing. Fear and Hunger is really having like a moment right now. So I want to pick up Termina and see what the full release version of that is like. Both those things high up on my list that I really want to like dig into. And so hopefully after this weekend, I'm not so exhausted that I can't do it. But like I... I don't know. <laughs> All that is to say I don't know. I've been busy with things. I haven't forgotten. I keep checking your guys' comments. I've, I really do want to get back to it soon. All the channels juggling and everything, like, someday soon here I'm going to be hiring, like, someone to handle a lot of the marketing for these games, and I can start offloading some of that work, and I can, I can kind of recede back into YouTube a little bit. And I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, that, how long did this video end up? Seven minutes, that's plenty. That's uh, great, whatever. <laughs> I, I didn't have a target in mind or anything, but I assume I've said most, if not all, of everything I wanted to say. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Check a bunch of things in the description if you want to like follow me in other places to keep up with the many other things that I have going on. Probably like one too many things, but it's fine. I, I think I'm finding finding a good rhythm. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for your patience, and that stuff will all be back soon.